Hey guys, welcome to Picture Book Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru, bringing you my Kotobukiya Artifacts Marvel Collection. Just wanted to do a quick intro. I really want to just jump right into the collection because it is a lot that I'm going to show you guys. So without any further ado, here is my collection. Enjoy. Remember, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, that way my channel can grow. Remember, if you hit that like button, people know it's a video worth watching. I'm trying not to buy subscribers, people. Help me out. <laughs> but without any further ado, here is my Kotobukiya Art FX Marvel Collection. And also my cat on catnip. How you doing, Blackie? <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs>
Alright guys, I was halfway in the middle of setting these up just to show you what I had and well I was, why not just show you an unboxing of at least one and it's actually going to be two because you need to see how some of these are put together but Thanos being who he is, I mean hey I gotta show you how you put them together so this is his box, I'm not going to go through each one of them because you know these things have been up for a couple of years, this is one of the newer ones You'll see everybody at the end of the video. Love that picture. Get rid of that one. We'll slide this one in. All right. So here he is as he comes out the package. Hopefully, glare's not too bad. But opening it um, up, you get to see what it is you're gonna get. I love their packaging. They definitely take care when they put these pieces together. Each one is individually packed. So all you gotta do, really simply. Put them together now it's going to be a pain putting these back putting them away because all i'm doing right now guys is showing you what i have and then i'm literally bossing them back up i don't have a lot of space to display them the way i want to i want to get some detox and put them in there but i wanted to see what i had and i wanted to show you guys what i have because sometimes you forget but i love their snap fits you don't need any glue or anything all you're doing is lining it up put it together you're done I'm not trying to squeeze them too tight just like I said I am going to be taking them back apart but and there is his head that is cool really really great detail in that head some people said they wanted two um, different head sculpts why you only need them angry <laughs> And again, just keys in. Boom. And push down. That's it. Only other piece for his body will be his gauntlet. When I first got with uh, Kotobakiya, this used to scare the hell out of me putting these together. But they're really well done. And there's the gauntlet. Again, how it keys in. Kotobukiya is definitely one of my favorite companies. A little on the expensive side, I will um, admit, for an American like myself trying to um, do them. But, and I don't have a lot of money, but they just look so good. I mean, I think Thanos was probably about $149 retail. I got it for a lot less. I'm not going to say how much because I promised I wouldn't, but... You definitely want to think this through before you jump into these because it is a rabbit hole that could become very expensive. And most recently, if you notice, I did do a purge in my collection. So a lot of the stuff I'm also getting on, um, with the money or with credit I have, I built up. As you can see from this base, really cool base. I love the detailing in it. The nice blue shading on there is nice. Nothing on the back. We'll like a little bit of felt on there, but it is what it is. As you can see, you do have your um, ports right there. Let's plug it in with these. Just got to make sure he... Sometimes they don't always stretch into it. You got to kind of work them in. So, oh, I'm going to put in this one first. Key him in then I can try and get them in there very scared with this won't lie this is definitely not what I was expecting with this guy so when I come back hopefully I'll have this keyed in otherwise you're not gonna see Thanos anymore I'll be right back all right I have them plugged in but I'm a get real close I am not trying to force it into that peg I really had to spread this out to get them in there so I don't know if this is just mine let me know um, if you guys have this statue do you guys have the same problem is it just because I need to heat it up a little bit to be able to get it to fit in there I mean it fits into the um, the pegs with no problem it's just it's a little too far apart but 
When we come back, I'm going to show you Vision because there's one thing you guys need to know about Vision when you're putting him together. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, I got Vision here. Didn't do the whole unboxing because they're pretty much, you see it once, you've seen it a thousand times. But I wanted to show you about how to put this one together because I was having some difficulty. I actually still am having difficulty. But one of the things I would say is first you plug in the feet into the base. That would be your best bet because as you can see I've already tried it a few times. You got to wear that paint off because even a centimeter of paint will cause this to not fit. So I'm not, again, not going to push it in too far. I'm just going to pull it apart um, after the end of the video. But you would think all you're doing is plug and playing this piece. But you're not. You actually have two pieces in the back here. And see, so make sure I get it right. Two pegs right there. So you've got to make sure you know that. So what you want to do, peg those in if you can. This is, I usually don't have issues with Kotobukiya, but sometimes they do stuff really weird. So you just put those two in there and then kind of just slide his torso onto the peg if you can, hopefully not snap it going. This is just not good. Not a good design. So first, okay, I'm gonna try it this way. He's on there. We have pegs that just don't wanna go near it. I mean, I could put one in, the other one doesn't fit. Doesn't even go near it. So you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. So when we come back, I'm gonna just get back into the um, review and show you what I got. I still love him. He's the vision. Coming at you.
that's it guys that's my Kotobukiya Art FX Marvel collection really hope you guys liked it hope you guys liked the way I filmed it it took forever to figure out how to do it so fly um, let me know what you guys think hit me in that comment section below hit me up on uh, any of these places that you see right here I am always available to you guys but thank you so much I will be doing a DC collection from Kotobukiya soon probably closer to the October Halloween time it takes a little time to do these things and constantly doing videos I'm trying to get one out a week it can take its toll so <laughs> this gives me time to film that and just little by little get it going but until then guys thank you so much for watching and remember here at Pitchbook Drama it is everything in entertainment I'll see you guys next time peace